Hi everyone. A couple of weeks I've posted about aromatase inhibitors and joint pain. Um, so definitely check that video out if you missed it. And I got this question about aromatase inhibitors and fatigue. And I'm going to talk about this, but I think that we can talk about this in the context of both aromatase inhibitors and tamoxifen. So fatigue in endocrine therapy for hormone receptor positive breast cancer. So fatigue is very common, very real, can be very debilitating. But it's important to think about fatigue, not just in the context of this one medication, but in terms of everything. So the, the impact, the mental impact of a breast cancer diagnosis and treatment, number one, the physical impact on the toll on the body, surgery, chemotherapy, radiation. And I, you know, we tend to think of these things piece by piece, sequentially, but it adds up, you know, it, it takes time to recover from surgery and now we're adding something else to the mix. So I think that's a big, big part of it. The people are mentally and physically drained and exhausted by the time they often start on endocrine therapy. So that's definitely a part of it. The next thing I like to think about is how do, how do we think about fatigue? You know, it is a little bit subjective. Uh, so I like to ask patients these two questions. So number one, at the end of the day, is your level of fatigue and exhaustion out of proportion to what you would expect? So is it like, oh, I've had a long day, I'm tired, I'm gonna sit on the couch and relax, versus I am asleep at 8 p.m., I cannot keep my eyes open, I am so exhausted. And the other question is when you wake up in the morning, do you feel rested or do you feel tired? Did you get a good night's sleep? Did you get eight hours of sleep and you're still feeling tired? So those are kind of a good way to think about it. Now, what else contributes to fatigue besides just breast cancer treatment? Well, a lot of endocrine therapy that will cause hot flashes, night sweats, people are not getting good night's sleep. They're waking up in the middle of the night. Often people struggle with anxiety, um, stress, mental health issues, and that's keeping them up. So part of it is you're tired because you're not getting good night's sleep. Part of it is that fatigue is a side effect of these medications. So what can you do? There are a couple of things, a couple of tips that I like to recommend. Number one, make sure that you talk to your doctors about your other medical conditions and other medications and how they can be playing a role. You know, some side of some medications also have fatigue and so it's that cumulative effect. Number two, make sure that you have had all your blood work done. You know, check your thyroid levels, check your vitamin D levels, make sure you're you know not overly anemic, like all of these things that could also be adding to the fatigue. Number three, if sleep is playing a role, can you optimize your sleep hygiene? Sometimes changing the time of day that we take these medications can help. Um, what are we doing before bed? That kind of thing. Number four, and, and this is where management of fatigue comes. So if we can't necessarily fix it, um, how do we manage it? So part of it is I always like to recommend doing your high functioning tasks that require a lot of brain power when you have the most energy. So some people feel super energized in the morning. So I tell them do your high function, like high energy tasks then. So kind of start to figure out those patterns in yourself and how you can optimize them. Exercise can really help with fatigue and can be an excellent resource. Although some people find if they exercise too close to bed, they have trouble sleeping. So again, we want to keep that in mind. Certain dietary changes can be helpful, limiting alcohol use, looking at when you're drinking caffeine, how much caffeine you're drinking. All of these things play a role, stress management, um, because again, all of these things are intertwined and connected and, and all impact us. You know, if we are stressed and we're having night sweats and not sleeping, well, we're going to feel tired no matter what else we do. So really start to figure out and look at all those different aspects. I would love to know what has helped you with fatigue, um, what's worked, what has not worked, and let's have a conversation about it.